Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a contact form in WordPress. Basically your contact form will look like this and what's nice about this is you can actually add additional fields. You can just add an additional field right there. So to start, simply go to your admin panel and then go to plugins and click on add new. And then in the search box simply enter in contact us form. This is the exact name of the plugin, so if you want to follow this exact tutorial, I suggest adding this exact plugin, which is called Contact Us Form, and simply click on Install Now, and then click on Activate Plugin. After activating your plugin, simply go to Settings, and then click on Contact Us Form. And then here you're going to want to enter in a uh, two email address. If you'd like, you can even enter in multiple email addresses. This way that email can be sent to multiple recipients by simply entering in the email address, comma, another email address, comma, and so forth. In this case, I'm just going to leave uh, one email. And you can enter in a from email address if you'd like. This is optional. You can enter in a uh, thank you message if you'd like, an error message as well. If these fields are empty and you leave them empty, the plugin should actually populate the fields for you automatically after saving. Again, if you'd like, you can enter in a custom one. And then you can also enter in a submit uh, button text, which is this right here if you want it to look different than the default. As for the additional fields, if you'd like to add additional fields, you can. For example, I'm going to add an additional field for demonstration purposes. And this field will be called order number. And once submitted, do you want the form to be hidden? If uh, you do not hide it, it will basically say thank you for emailing us and the form will still be there. So that might throw off your visitors and make them think that the message didn't go through or something like that or they might enter in another message so if you like you can hide it as for the captcha this is if you'd like to keep uh, robots from uh, emailing you so you can check it off if you'd like uh, numbers to be displayed for example simple math or if you'd like to enter in a question you can for example what color is the sky and then the answer can be blue and basically uh, visitors would have to type in blue if you think that's a little too difficult you can always add something else you know as for the style sheet you can enter in a style sheet or you can use the default style sheet I'll just use the default and then I'll click on save changes after saving the changes, simply copy this uh, short code right here, which is left bracket contact dash us dash form right bracket. And then simply go to pages and click on add new. And then simply enter in a title. In my case, it will be email us. And then I'll have text uh, selected here and I'll simply paste that short code and then I'll click on publish and then I'll go to appearance and menus and I will basically add that page to my uh, menu which I already have here it's an email us menu which I created earlier and then I will select email us and I will add it to the menu and I will click on save menu and now when I go to email us my form is there and there you can see my uh, new order number uh, field which I added and as you can see my captcha is there as well so if I were to enter in some information here and enter in an email address and then a subject and my message and then my answer which is blue and if I click on submit as you can see the message went through and the contact form has been hidden 
and now I will check my inbox to show you that this is actually functioning as it should. So here is that email that I just uh, sent out earlier. As you can see, there is the order number that I entered, the subject and the message, and it even shows the referrer and the browser. So as you can see, everything is working. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.